trauma. It's a word we hear more often these days. Yet its true impact remains hidden for many. We often associate trauma with major events like war or natural disasters. But trauma's reach is far wider. It touches lives in countless ways, often unseen and unheard. Trauma lives in our bodies and minds. It shapes our reactions and relationships. It influences our communities and shapes our world. Understanding trauma is not about dwelling on the negative. It's about shedding light on a hidden force that shapes us all. When we acknowledge trauma, we open the door to healing. We begin to see its marks in ourselves and others. This understanding fosters empathy and compassion. It allows us to create spaces for healing and growth. This journey starts with recognizing trauma's silent presence. It's about understanding its pervasive influence in our individual lives and throughout society. Let's embark on this exploration together, uncovering the hidden threads of trauma that connect us all. Trauma is not just about the event itself. It's about the lasting impact, the invisible wounds it leaves behind. It's about the way our nervous system remembers and reacts. It's the fear that lingers, the anxiety that grips us, the memories that resurface. Statistics paint a stark picture of trauma's reach. Studies show that a majority of people have experienced at least one traumatic event in their lifetime. These events range from physical or sexual abuse to accidents, violence, and natural disasters. The impact can be equally profound regardless of the event's magnitude. But trauma's prevalence extends beyond individual experiences. It seeps into families, communities, and entire generations. The legacy of trauma can be passed down, impacting relationships, mental health, and social interactions. Understanding the pervasiveness of trauma is crucial. It helps us to approach these issues with greater sensitivity and awareness. Recognizing its presence in our own lives and the lives of others allows us to offer support and foster healing. Trauma is not simply a psychological phenomenon, it's deeply intertwined with our physical selves. Our bodies bear the brunt of trauma, storing its memory in our muscles, tissues and nervous system. When faced with danger our bodies go into survival mode, our heart races, our breathing quickens, and stress hormones flood our system. This fight, flight or freeze response is a natural and essential survival mechanism. However, when trauma occurs, this response can become dysregulated. Our bodies remain in a state of heightened alert, even when the danger has passed. This can manifest in various ways, from chronic pain and sleep disturbances, to digestive issues and immune system problems. Recognizing these physical manifestations of trauma is crucial. It's not always easy to articulate our emotional experiences. Sometimes our bodies speak the language of trauma more clearly than words ever could. Trauma's impact extends beyond our physical bodies. It reaches into the depths of our minds, leaving its mark on the very structure of our brains. Specifically, trauma affects the amygdala, hippocampus, and prefrontal cortex, areas crucial for emotional regulation, memory, and decision-making. The amygdala, our brain's fear center, becomes hyperactive in response to trauma. It perceives threats even in safe situations, triggering our fight, flight, or freeze response. This can lead to anxiety, panic attacks, and difficulty managing emotions. Meanwhile, the hippocampus, responsible for memory consolidation, can be impaired by trauma. This can result in fragmented memories, difficulty recalling specific details, and even dissociation. The prefrontal cortex, responsible for rational thought and decision-making, can also be negatively impacted. This interplay of brain regions explains why trauma survivors often struggle with emotional regulation, impulse control, and forming healthy relationships. Understanding these neurological changes allows us to approach trauma with greater empathy and less judgment. Trauma's impact extends far beyond the individual. Like ripples in a pond, it spreads outward, affecting families, communities, and entire societies. From domestic violence and substance abuse to homelessness and crime, the societal costs of unaddressed trauma are immeasurable. Children growing up in homes marked by trauma are particularly vulnerable. They may witness violence, experience neglect, or face abuse themselves. These early experiences can have a profound impact on their developing brains and bodies, increasing their risk for mental health challenges, addiction, and involvement in the criminal justice system. Moreover, trauma can fuel cycles of poverty, discrimination, and social injustice. Communities grappling with systemic racism, poverty, and violence often lack the resources to address trauma effectively, perpetuating a cycle of suffering across generations. Breaking this cycle requires a collective effort. 
We must acknowledge the pervasive impact of trauma on our society and invest in trauma-informed approaches to healthcare, education, and social services. Only then can we begin to heal and build a more resilient future. Recognizing trauma is the first step towards healing. It's about learning to see beyond the surface and understand the underlying reasons behind certain behaviors, reactions, and patterns. This recognition requires both self-awareness and compassion for others. We must be willing to acknowledge the possibility of trauma in our own lives. This involves paying attention to our bodies and emotions, noticing patterns of reactivity, and exploring our personal histories with curiosity and openness. It also means creating space for others to share their experiences without judgment. Trauma can manifest in countless ways, from difficulty trusting others and managing emotions to engaging in risky behaviors and experiencing chronic pain, the signs can be subtle and easily overlooked. By educating ourselves about the various ways trauma presents itself, we become better equipped to recognize it in ourselves and others. This recognition is not about labeling or diagnosing, it's about fostering understanding and creating a space for healing. When we acknowledge the presence of trauma, we open the door to compassion, support, and ultimately, recovery. This journey is about embracing the path to healing together. Healing from trauma is possible. It's a journey that requires time, patience, and the right support. Trauma-informed approaches offer a roadmap for this journey, emphasizing safety, empowerment, and collaboration. Traditional therapy models often focus on talking about traumatic experiences. While this can be helpful, it's not always the most effective approach for everyone. Trauma-informed care recognizes that healing must involve the body, mind, and spirit. It incorporates various modalities such as somatic experiencing, EMDR, eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, and mindfulness-based practices. These approaches help individuals reconnect with their bodies, regulate their emotions, and develop healthier coping mechanisms. Trauma-informed care also emphasizes the importance of building trust and creating a safe environment. This includes fostering a sense of agency and empowering individuals to make choices about their healing journey. It's about collaboration, not coercion, and meeting individuals where they are at in their healing process. Healing from trauma is not a solitary endeavor. While individual therapy plays a crucial role, the power of human connection cannot be underestimated. Building strong supportive relationships is essential for fostering resilience and promoting lasting recovery. Trauma often thrives in isolation. It convinces us that we are alone, unworthy of love, and undeserving of support. This isolation only perpetuates the cycle of suffering. Connecting with others helps to break down these walls, reminding us that we are not alone in our experiences. Support groups, for example, offer a safe and validating space for individuals to share their stories learn from one another, and build a sense of community. Connecting with others who have experienced similar traumas can be incredibly empowering. But healing goes beyond support groups. It's about cultivating healthy relationships in all areas of our lives, with family, friends, romantic partners, and even colleagues. These connections provide a sense of belonging, purpose, and security, essential ingredients for healing and growth. Too often, the narrative surrounding trauma focuses solely on the negative. We hear about the devastating impact, the long-lasting consequences, and the challenges of recovery. While it's essential to acknowledge these realities, it's equally important to shift the narrative towards one of hope, resilience, and the possibility of transformation. Trauma can change us, but it doesn't have to define us. We can emerge from the depths of our experiences stronger, wiser, and more compassionate human beings. Healing from trauma is not about forgetting or erasing the past, it's about integrating those experiences into our life story and finding meaning in our struggles. This shift in perspective requires a conscious effort to focus on our strengths, celebrate our resilience, and cultivate gratitude for the present moment. It's about recognizing that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope for healing, growth, and transformation. By embracing this empowering narrative, we reclaim our lives and inspire others to do the same. We move beyond surviving to thriving, embracing the fullness of who we are, scars and all. Creating a world where trauma is acknowledged, understood and addressed requires a collective effort. 
It's about moving beyond individual healing and fostering a society that is sensitive to the pervasive impact of trauma. This begins with education. We must educate ourselves about the nature of trauma, its prevalence, and its far-reaching consequences. This knowledge empowers us to recognize the signs of trauma in ourselves and others, respond with compassion, and advocate for trauma-informed practices. Trauma-informed care should be the standard, not the exception. This means implementing trauma-informed approaches in schools, healthcare settings, social service agencies, and the criminal justice system. It's about creating environments that are safe, supportive, and conducive to healing. Furthermore, we must address the systemic issues that contribute to trauma. This includes tackling poverty, discrimination, and violence in all its forms. By creating a more just and equitable society, we can prevent trauma and foster healing for all. The journey towards a trauma-sensitive world may seem daunting, but there is reason for hope. As awareness of trauma grows, so too does our collective capacity for healing and transformation. We are witnessing a paradigm shift in the way we understand and address mental health. Trauma-informed approaches are gaining traction, and more resources are becoming available to support survivors. Moreover, individuals are finding their voices and sharing their stories, breaking down the stigma surrounding trauma and inspiring others to seek help. This growing movement is creating a ripple effect, challenging societal norms and demanding change. The future holds immense potential for healing and growth. By continuing to raise awareness, advocate for change, and support one another, we can create a world where trauma is no longer a silent epidemic, but a catalyst for individual and collective transformation. The journey is long, but the destination is worth it. While trauma can leave us feeling broken and alone, it also has the potential to connect us to our shared humanity. When we share our stories, we realize that we are not alone in our pain. This recognition fosters empathy, compassion, and a sense of interconnectedness. Trauma reminds us of our vulnerability, but it also highlights our resilience. It shows us that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit has an incredible capacity for healing and growth. By embracing our shared humanity, we can transform our wounds into sources of strength, wisdom, and compassion. This journey is not always easy, but it is a journey worth taking. By acknowledging our pain, honoring our resilience, and supporting one another, we can create a world where trauma is no longer a source of shame, but a catalyst for individual and collective growth. Let us move forward with courage, compassion, and a shared commitment to creating a world where everyone has the opportunity to heal, thrive, and reach their full potential.